clip. So just tell us what you've done with the new uh, competition. Yes, well this week in particular we've taken a sponsorship of something called the National Rugby Championship. We've taken the naming rights sponsorship. So it's called the Build Corp NRC and our co-sponsor is actually Fox Sport. Oh, so, um, fine organisation so and it's on your channel. Look it up. It is. Um, and this particular competition sits between club rugby and the state rugby, provincial rugby union. Um, this week we are focusing on philanthropy and the rugby community are assisting uh, BuildCorp and our philanthropic endeavours to support mental health. And this little clip we're about to see um, is some evidence of how the rugby community have been working with and for us to um, help us get a handle on mental health. Okay, let's have a, a look at this clip. Halfbacks, talk about it. Props, talk about it. Centres, talk about it. Second rowers, talk about it. Men, 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 talk about it. It's interesting this convergence of business, sport sponsorship, sponsorship and philanthropy. Yes. So this is back to this people projects partnership piece. If we look at the partnership piece, you have to be very careful as to who you choose to partner with. Uh, whether it's business partnerships or in our case uh, sponsorships, you need to partner with somebody who has similar values and in our case rugby union is a, has been a sport that we have found we, we just feel a natural alignment with. Um, these players by the way are actually wallabies and these uh, wallaby players are with Queensland Rugby Union and QRU have been extraordinarily helpful with us at the moment um, in providing and putting that clip together at their own expense to help us support um, young men and mental health issues which is an issue in construction. So did you push that? I mean how does it work? I, I like what okay. you say about the fact you you find a group uh, that you want to sponsor that has similar values. Yes. How do you, so that's usually enough. You sponsor, you get your name on it, that's it. You've taken it to another level then by using that to go to the philanthropy side rather than directly supporting the charity. Okay. So, we, so we don't just give money over in a sponsorship we actually truly partner so we're very at what we call active sponsors Tony and I is what we uh, term it we you know when it's your own money and your skin in the game you want to see a return for a sponsorship so a sponsorship is a commercial function for us we need to see a return we approached the Australian Rugby Union when we negotiated our contract for the uh, Build Corp NRC and said that we uh, would very much hope that they might consider allowing us to have one of the rounds of this NRC um, to allow us to focus on a little bit of fundraising for causes that were important to us at Build Corp. Right now it's mental health. There is a disproportionately high incidence of suicide in young construction workers. Um, now that's interesting. Why is that? Not sure, sort of blokey blokes, I can't tell you, but there's a fantastic organisation called Mates in Construction who come and do some work for us on some of our sites and help our men in particular, my first generalisation of the night, um, identify signs that their mates might be in trouble and need a bit of a hand. So they've been terrific. They're not so dissimilar to young rugby players who are under different sorts of pressures for okay. different reasons. And so there just seemed a natural alignment with what we were wanting to do. And you might have noticed that last frame of that little TVC that we saw was Build Corp, Queensland Rugby Union and Lifeline, yes. who we are going to be supporting to expand their online offering. Just young men don't talk like this. They, they generally seem to want to do this these days. So we're assisting them with some funding to expand the existing online offering they've got.